temperatures hovering near the triple digits all the time. Many of us at least have the air conditioning to hide in. Not everybody, Amy, is so lucky. Oh, boy, they are not, Gordon. 7 News reporter Nicole Ford is live tonight with how there's an organization out there helping people deal with the heat, and they need that help, don't they, Nicole? Oh, that's right. It is very hot out here. There have been people out here all day playing in the river trying to get cool. But imagine going home and not having air conditioning or even being able to pay your air conditioning bill when it goes up in the summer. Well, one organization is trying to help those people stuck in that situation. It's a hot summer day for this group of kids as they splash across the water cooling off in the summer heat. And not everyone is finding it easy to beat the rising temperature. It's been hard for my son to sleep at night. He's just restless. Um, I'm restless. I'm also diabetic, so you know you have to deal with health concerns and things of the family. It's hard to sleep. Kimberly Gaines is currently living without air conditioning. With the heat becoming unbearable, she had a Danderson Interfaith Ministries for some help. Inside the food pantry, volunteers are working hard to help those who need it. On one shelf sits boxes of fans. AIM is able to give away fans and air conditioners. Uh, and we're very selective in who we give the air conditioners to because this year we've had none. So in order to help families like Kimberly's, AIM needs air conditioners to hand out. Some of our people live in houses that are literally cinder blocks. And so sometimes it's almost hotter inside a house than it is outside. Um, and so being able for people to maintain a healthy temperature is important. But in addition to that, these people have to pay higher utility bills once we give them an air conditioner. That's where Duke Energy comes in with some tips to manage that steep utility bill. The most helpful thing you can do is really manage your thermostat. Every degree that you're able to tick that sucker up uh, this time of year, that can save you up to 5% in your uh, heating cost. And Duke Energy also recommends keeping your blinds and shades closed and trying not to cool off your house when no one's there. The more that you can do to help cool it down without actually hitting the, hitting the button on your thermostat, it'll help out your utility bill in the long run. Live in Greenville, Nicole Ford, 7 News. And Nicole, for those like you who are out there working in the heat or having to go out and be out in the heat, what's the trick? Obviously, they keep saying hydration is important. Do you have any personal favorite tricks to stay cool? Well, definitely carry lots of water. I carry all kinds of ice yeah. water as well as some towels to cool you off because it gets hot really fast and definitely utilize your car's air conditioning. All right, absolutely. Thanks, Nicole Ford. Live